Hi, today we're going to be looking at loops. Let's get started. So, um, the very first page here of the loops says uh, create a for in loop uh, that loops through values uh, 1 to 100 and prints each of the values to the console. Let me go ahead and open the console here. Um, okay, so how do we do that? That's pretty easy. We type in the for keyword. We're going to use index here and I'm going to say in 1 all the way to 100. So 1, the three dots represents 2. 100 curly brace and the curly brace um, and we're gonna just simply print the index because the index will be um, is the counter going 1 to 100 so if you oh, that's 1 to 10 um, if you look at the console now you've got printing 1 to 100 pretty easy stuff okay um, second up, create a for in loop that loops through each of the characters in the alphabet string below and print each of the values alongside the index. Okay, so how do we do something like that? Um, what you would need to do is you create a for in loop again. Uh, here you'd have to use something called enumeration. Um, and this sort of touches on... Um, uh, tuples. Um, so essentially I'm saying for index letter uh, in alphabet dot characters and alphabet here is a um, string and dot characters is a function of a string dot enumerated and uh, what this would do here is it'll actually uh, gives us a um, uh, it's uh, I'm saying listen go through the index letter in alphabet dot characters are enumerated and what we're gonna print here is we're gonna print um, what does it say here characters in the alphabet string and print each of the values alongside with the index so what we're gonna print uh, uh, we're gonna print the index and we're gonna print the um, characters which are the letters and essentially what's happening here is let me just finish writing this and I'll explain what's happening. Um, okay. That should do it. Okay, so if we look at the... No, we'll expect it. No, that should be good. Undetermined. It's a string literal. Print index letter. Yeah, that should work. Okay, there we go. It's much better. So here what we've done is, uh, this is part of a dictionary. You could skip this if you want, because I haven't taught to you about tuples. Uh, it kind of goes hand in hand with dictionaries. But essentially we're printing in the index, and this is the uh, index 0, and it's A. Remember, um, arrays are 0 indexed, right? Um, index 1 is B, and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, it's as simple as that. So I'm saying, listen, take the index and take uh, the letter um, and essentially print index and letter. And what you're doing is enumerated is giving you both values, the index and the letter. Here it says create a string string dictionary. We're going to skip this. This is a dictionary part. Okay, so you could go ahead and skip this because we're not doing dictionary for the time being. Moving on to the next page. We've got, um, suppose your app contains a list of different uh, movements that can be tracked. You want to display each item in the list to the user. Use a foreign loop to loop through movements below and pre print each of them. This is really easy. What we're doing here is we're um, looping through um, strings. So how do we do this? Very simple, a foreign loop. It's a simple foreign loop. I'm going to go for um, index in movements movements is obviously the um, the constant uh, array here and uh, what are we going to loop here we're just simply going to print the index um, and the index will print walking running uh, swimming cycling skiing and climbing pretty easy okay great stuff here um, this i could already tell is a dictionary so we're going to go ahead and skip the second page okay so just um, ignore that. So let's move on to the third page, which uh, is right here. 
Okay, let's look at the third page here. Create a while loop that uh, simulates rolling a six-sided die, a dice, uh, repeatedly until should say die, repeatedly until a one is rolled. After each roll, print the value. Uh, hint: Use this thing right here to generate a random number generator, one to six. We're, we already know what this is from the functions lab. This randomly generates a number from zero to five. This being the limit. Okay. Adding a plus one here will add a plus one to the limit and to the bottom as well. So it'll be one to six. Um, okay, great. So how do we do this? Okay, so first of all, you need a you need a, a place to uh, store the randomly generated number. So I'm gonna go var um, roll number. Okay, and I'm gonna initialize it at zero. And now I'm gonna create a while loop. Right, so while roll uh, number um, does not equal, right, does not equal one, uh, do the following. So the what it's asking here is keep rolling the dice uh, until, repeatedly, until a one is rolled. So as long as rolled number is not one, keep executing this code and this code essentially just says listen take rolled number which is a variable that we just created of type int and keep generating um, numbers into it keep generating numbers into it and um, well keep generating num numbers into it as long as it's now one you keep executing this code but once it's one stop doing it and of course the other uh, thing that we were asked is to print um, the number um, the rolled numbers so let's see here if this works um, no of course it doesn't because I didn't even write it correctly the underscore uniform upper limit um, we're gonna go with uh, 6 being the upper limit we don't need this plus one this should work okay uh, use a found result and fire arc arc for random uniform there we go this should work okay so uh, it rolled it rolled three two five three two five six one and that's why it stopped it rolled all these numbers before it got to one um, and that's essentially a while loop so it kept it kept running until um, until this occurred and uh, that's that so it ran eight times before we got one if I want to redo this I could uh, go ahead and uh, you know comment this line out okay and then uncomment it for the code to rerun Let's see how many times it takes now for it to get to one five times. So I rolled five, two, five, six, and then one. If I keep doing this, um, it'll keep giving you a different answer. Let's see here how many times it'll take this time. Twice, two, and then one. I could, of course, stop and rerun the code again and again. This time it took eight times, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now let's move on. Okay, so let's look at the fourth page here, um, fourth page. So you may want your fitness tracking app to help runners track and improve their sedence. Running sedence is the number of steps a runner takes in a minute. To help with this, so essentially making our runner um, take more steps every minute. To help with this, you decide to let the user input um, a sedence, after which your app will play sound at each interval they need to take another step. Uh, for this exercise, you'll uh, simulate a test run um, of the sedents feature of, for your app. While um, Use a while loop to print, take a step to the console 10 times. So we have to print, take a step 10 times. Once you've successfully printed, take a step 10 times, add the following code to the end of your loop, this right here. This will put a pause um, between each iteration of the while loop so that the print statement actually occurred the proper um, Seedens. Okay, so we've cre uh, they've created for us a constant called seedens of type double, and they've set it to 180, and uh, test steps zero 
obviously we're gonna create a while loop so we're saying here while test steps is less than under 10 right well oh, less than 10 and the reason it's less than 10 is because they want uh, we're gonna print it for 10 times so what I'm doing here is I'm gonna say listen as long as test steps is under 10 here's what you gotta do print um, take a step okay and also you don't just print take a step also increment test steps by one right um, let's do that so obviously it's looping infinitely now which is not good uh, and then uh, I'm gonna copy this code which essentially does some magic here I'm gonna go ahead and stop this um, this does some magic here that well that's wrong sorry yeah this is not copying and pasting so that's fine I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rewrite it Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run this. And then it's going to take a step 10 times. So it took a step 10 times. Now, um, if you noticed, it actually paused in between. There was actually some time. It didn't do it right away, just like that. Uh, do you remember when we looped 0 to 100? It immediately showed up at mind-boggling speed. Here, essentially, uh, it left a time interval. Um, and that's what this line of code did. Okay, great. Recreate the above sedence example using a repeat while loop. We're gonna skip that. I didn't teach you about repeat while loops. So just go ahead and skip that part right here. Okay, so let's look at um, page five here. So uh, it says uh, create a for in loop that will loop through the characters of um, alphabet, which is right here, and print every other letter by continuing to the next iteration. Um, you could actually go ahead and skip this. This is essentially just using another function um, of the dot enumerated, and you could print every other letter, every even number, every odd um, um, element. Um, I didn't teach you this, so you could go ahead and skip this. That's fine. This right here is a dictionary, so we're going to skip this as well. And that takes us to the last page, which is um, um, a pretty simple um, um loop that we have to do okay and we've kind of covered this um, 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 you know what we're not even going to do this because this is a dictionary as well so you know what forget the sixth page as well so just uh, just just to kind of um, recap skip the whole skip sixth page skip the fifth page um, so fifth and sixth you're skipping the um, the fourth page you're skipping the second part but you're doing the first part the third page you're doing the whole thing and um, the second page you're doing um, the first part but you're skipping the second part and the first page you're doing the first part second part but you're skipping the third part okay thanks for watching